What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and in this video I'm going to show you how to get rid of malware on your PC, on your Windows based PC specifically. Uh, me personally, I prefer Malwarebytes, so that's what I'm going to show you how to install and use in this video. Before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to Geeks Outfit. They sent me this uh, really great Stardew Valley t-shirt. Uh, definitely check them out. I'll put a link to them in the description below. So not a sponsor or anything. I'll probably put them in the affiliates or something, but uh, all I need to do is type in malwarebytes.com and there we are so thankfully the way that malwarebytes pricing system works is you're allowed to use it completely free whenever you want to run a scan you can run a scan you can get rid of all your malware and it works just fine the pro version just lets you use advanced features like schedules uh so you can schedule your scans and say like oh every week at 3 a.m. when I'm not on the computer, run a scan or whatever. That's that's the advanced features, um, the paid features, I mean. But in terms of actually like scanning your computer and getting rid of viruses and malware, this will do all of it for free. So let's go ahead and go to the free download. And it'll say, thanks for downloading malware bytes. It'll come up in the top right. You might get a notification saying unverified download blocked. Just go ahead and click on that and choose download unverified file. And we're going to go ahead and open that up now we have an install wizard so let's just go ahead and click on install we're going to choose personal for my household or for me or my household and then you can choose to secure your browser as well so that if, if it detects you go to a website that is kind of shady it'll actually block that website um, if it detects malware on it and stop it from actually uh, being viewable on your computer to begin with so that you don't get the malware to begin with uh, so I definitely recommend turning this on for uh, most users who are uh, experiencing a lot of viruses or things like that. You might need some extra protection. Get that uh, on to secure your browser. Uh, if you don't want the browser extension, you can choose skip this step. Again, that's not recommended. I'll go ahead and choose secure my browser. And now it's installing. Easy as that. Let's go ahead and wait and I'll show you how to use it. All right. So it shows that it's installed. All we need to do is choose enable extension in our browser minimize our browser and choose open malware bytes. All right, so let's go ahead and skip this and choose maybe later. You can optionally enter your uh, email address, but I'm just gonna click on done. And we're in the app because none of that's required or anything. If we want to scan, we can choose scan here, but I'm actually gonna click on these three dots and go to settings. And this is gonna tell you what it's actually scanning for. So what I'm gonna do is turn on scan for rootkits. Then I'm gonna go back to the dashboard hit the three dots again and then go to advanced scan and we can configure the scan here we're going to choose uh, to scan for rootkits and we can choose which drives we want to scan so I have multiple drives so I'm going to say let's go ahead and scan C and D and then we can just click on the custom scan and it'll start scanning those files and uh, getting rid of any malware it needs to if it does find specific rootkits or malware that requires uh, advanced cleaning um, it will actually ask to restart the PC and what it'll do is it'll restart itself in kind of like a, a little safe mode sort of thing where it runs first before the virus has a chance to start and then it removes it and then continues with the startup process. So um, it's definitely very powerful and can handle uh, a lot of malware. This is kind of an industry standard um, as a first line of protection against malware and rootkits. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace. The guru with a modern day voodoo The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds You can learn a thing or two about a new device Unboxing kudos, we rock that pseudo Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?